He goes by the name of Tommy Evans. How much have you not heard of Tommy Evans? Tommy, man. Do you want to surely just introduce yourself? Yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> that's a question. Alright, yo, uh, the name's Tommy Evans. That's my real name. You don't mind have heard of him. The stage name. You don't mind have seen him. The alias. You might have heard this song. No suit in there. So we were representing Why Not Production. Oh, we just said the name. So, yeah, man, that's me. Reaching out to Bedford now. Is this is this one of the smallest things you've seen? I like small and intimate. Yeah. Like, you can get closer to the crowd. That's a beautiful thing. Where's the truth? It's going to be a game. Put the most in everything you get. It's on the road. You're a guy. 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 you Felt like a real reaction from the crowd or, um, or real appreciation. I'd say mainly abroad. Abroad, uh, yeah. I think my success will back me up to like Switzerland was a good look, um, but for me this year Paris was definitely like the hottest one. Like played to like two thousand people. Seems like, in Elysee Montmartre in Paris, so that was an uh, incredible experience. What's the friendship off scene saying then? I have no idea. No? No idea. I wasn't really there, it wasn't necessarily a hip hop thing. I was, well, it was, but it's a more diverse audience or whatever. But, um, yeah, man, it's just beautiful to be able to perform anywhere. Like, I played in America, that was a good experience as well. How would you say from from towns that really ain't got a hip hop scene? What would build? What would be the real strong building points of a music scene? That's a very good question. And it's a question I probably can't answer right now. So let me come back to that one in a bit. Who am I? Where should people be going for their music with? Like um, local scenes kind of breaking down with the closure of a lot of record shops, yeah. vinyl sales, or or people not buying vinyls or not buying music themselves. Yeah, yeah. Where where should people really be going? Is it about going on the net and mail order? I, yeah, I guess I think one really good way of staying in touch with what's going on is uh, one extra. But of course, you have to have digital access to do that. But it does mean kids from around the country can find out what's going on in the scene, even if they're not at the hub or the epicenter itself. So, yeah, I'm promoting one extra, but they've shown a lot of support. But obviously, the internet, I think most artists who've established themselves on labels and websites, so people would check that out. Um, and then even stuff like HFM as well, which is like a London-based radio station, but there's a lot of information on there people can access as well. So I'm sure people are intuitive and they use that. Yeah, cool. Intelligence. Tommy Evans, you've got that good vibe! What's your opinion then along, along them lines as well with like Channel U and quality control? I think Channel U is a beautiful thing because it gives a forum to people from disenfranchised communities to get their creativity out to a wide audience when certain mainstream music channels have not been shown support. <laughs> no names mentioned. It's like, like homegrown music, you know what I mean? And it's like, that's myopic, it's short sight. So it took people with the vision of Channel U to think where there's an audience that want to access this music but are finding it difficult to do so. So they've carved their own niche. And that's a good thing. Yeah, people can say there's certain issues about quality or whatever, but I feel the hip hop scene in this country is about 18 years behind America, so there's always going to be issues about quality. But in time, I think it will establish itself the quality, but you just have to give it time. So I think it's only right and fair in a democratic country that everyone gets a chance to voice their opinion. Who's the main people you who you're watching for yourself? And like the main people you, or a few names oh, that are really so hearing you. Musicians. Yeah, musicians in the scene or like rappers. 
rappers, producers, um, well, who's, who's really doing <laughs> like? If we're talking about rappers, we've got to say my boy Mike, because that's it over there. <laughs> Elite Team Entertainment, <coughs> we've got their, their CD coming out in January, so you need to cop that. Um, Loki is a very talented rapper as well, he's got uh, a big CD called Keys to the Game out. Sway to Sappho, I think it's going to be all about him next year because he's a guy with talent, originality, but in the couple of years that I've known him, he's always had a really good work ethic and a positive attitude and I think he's going to creep up and get people unawares next year. Um, Wordsmith from South London is incredible, he's got an amazing voice, sick flow, sick delivery, good lyrics. Um, my boy is Genocide. From Leeds, Danger, D Brown, Pete Chambers, yeah. <laughs> Mike knows all about them as well. Yeah. But um, I think we shouldn't just limit it to like hip hop. I think people have to realise that if you're looking to have a career in music, you have to extend beyond the confines and parameters of hip hop. Have vision and realise that if you do just hip hop, you're going to sell a couple of thousand records and that's it. If you set out to make good music that appeals to people from genres beyond hip hop then you can have a career <laughs> that's gonna have longevity and you know you'll probably sell a lot more records and hopefully the music will be better because I think if you set out just to make rap music it's not gonna be that interesting. And I think if you only listen to rap music you're not gonna have much interesting to say as well. So I don't listen to that much rap. <laughs> and what I try like to be honest like the music I'm making now is sort of I'd say it's soul music it just happens to have a bit of rapping on it. They were talking about uh, soul as well. With yeah. you got, a, uh, you're saying you're bringing that into your music now. Yeah. And I understand you got um, a well-established soul singer on your album. <laughs> yeah. So a big plug there for New Year's uh, Revolution. Yeah, yeah. From Tommy Evans. Where? What's the official date on that release? Then? Yeah, exactly. The album came out on CD on November the first, but due to our uh, Conditions beyond our control, the vinyl has been delayed, but it will be coming. It will be like a New Year's revolution, quite literally, with the vinyl. Um, so look out for that. Make sure you cop it. And uh, yeah, man, just support beautiful music. Uh, music with a message. I feel Back in the day, I used to deal with love. But yeah, I never thought about leaving love. Because I was happy just to be with her. So you got any New Year's resolutions then for 2005 yourself? Yeah, I do actually. I'm trying to do an album a year for the next five years. I'm trying to do a Jay-Z. And uh, <laughs> I'm trying to monopolise the market and uh, get to the top of the pile. <laughs> and be the biggest thing out in this country. But uh, we can all grow together. But yeah, that's how I look at it, man. Just like healthy competition. Speak of music, trying to uh, fulfill our potential, which is that nothing can stop. Cool, man. Okay, you all, that's pretty much it there. So, so, thanks for your time. You got anything else to add? You want to? Uh, free Palestine, and that's about it, man. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, thanks a lot, man.